Hi, before we keep going, I want a couple of you to actually know what is a database. A database is just simply a collection of related data in an organized fashion. Now, we will be talking about databases a lot in this section, so I need you to understand what it is. Let me just give you a scenario here. You open Excel and you have a spreadsheet right in front of you. You have columns and you have rows. We actually organize data the same way as with spreadsheets. We have columns in a database, right? Well, we use tables for that, but we have columns and we have rows. And we can organize data depending on what column it is. For example, first column we can put names in there. And then inside those columns, inside those little fields, we put the data. Well, a database works just like that. And we also have tables inside the database where we use to further organize our data. Inside those tables there are going to be very similar to the columns and rows. And you can compare tables to worksheets inside the database. All right. Anyways, we will be using MySQL database system. You can look it up online. It's very popular. It's actually one of the most popular database systems in the world. It is actually stands for structure query language the first word my stands for the daughter's name of the creator now it's open source i already said that it's the most popular out there and it's great for documentation so keep that in mind let me give you an example of a table inside the database here we have a table called customers we have columns and as you can see that in a vertical fashion there we have everything in yellow it could be a column and that first column is name well actually the second column is actually name defined as first name and then inside that column we have many different data of course of names now rows are the vertical actually the horizontal line across that would be a road and as you can see there I'm highlighting there row second road with ID number two that green part that you see there is a field. That would be the intersection between that column and the row. Now that you know and have an example of the table there inside the database, it's going to be easier for you to understand everything we do when it comes to tables and databases inside uh, our programs. This section is going to give you some basic understanding of databases and tables, and it's going to jump your level of understanding to uh, another level. It's going to jump your understanding to another level. Anyways, I hope my illustration here will help you understand a little bit about databases and tables. And hopefully, you will understand more when you see the demonstration on the lectures. Thank you so much for watching this presentation, and I'll see you on the lectures.